the graphite is a very delicate medium. You build the form slowly like you would in the structural drawing. The charcoal is more like caveman stuff, <laughs> cavewoman. <laughs> so I've got this knife, which is one of those retractable exacto type knives. And you just want to carefully carve out, this is gonna be a little messy. So I'm gonna carefully hold it flat. Okay, you don't wanna tip it up this way, you wanna hold it flat. And you're going to just turn it in your hand. So you can see I'm rolling it a little bit. Wait, you're like I'm rolling rotating it? Like this. it? Oh, okay, all rotating right. Rotating it like that while I go back and forth. The subject that I have is so outrageously sensitive that my tools have become more and more so. Powdered charcoal, I can sprinkle it on, and then I can... Whoa. Yeah. I tend to tone the paper fairly lightly. It's not really like a makeup sponge. It's, it's more oh, dense. it's sort of hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's dense. But wait, you get that at an art supply yes. store. Mm -hmm. Pan pesto. If I have a rose facing the light, that's a very different feeling than if I have it facing down and away from the light. And then I have this little gizzy, which my husband made. I can insert the rose here, and then I can move it in the light. I can move this wire because it's very bendable, and the flower is in a little flask of water. The ones that you get from the florist are very stiff. So we have to kind of play with them a little bit to make them feel more alive. What I'm doing is I'm laying out bones of the space where the flower is going to live. You're coming in from a very large overall mass. It's almost like you're exploring a cave. Totally. There's a whole universe in that exactly. form. A friend of mine says uh, that I want to be an insect. <laughs> so you could crawl around inside yeah. a rose? You want to be the bee. So when our flower is gone, what I have is a, essentially a magnifying glass. Now, the color is wrong. I mean, you can see it just, our eyes see so much more color. The only thing I really need is a reasonable reference, mm -hmm. mostly for structure. It gives me a general sense of, of what I'm looking at. Now, why did you make this big cardboard box? Yeah. Why does that matter? I'm trying to get the light to move in a certain way. Well, it's cutting off the light over here so that this is backlit. The light's coming in and there's a darkness back here. So this has a sort of glow to it. The, the downtime and the not having the flower in front of you, it helps me isolate the emotional response that I'm having, which is the thing that I want the painting to carry. If I had it in front of me the whole time, I would be tempted, I think, to sort of want everything. And if everything's important in your painting, nothing's important. Now I'm going to be coating the paper with charcoal to create a little even, relatively even thin scrim of charcoal. And then I kind of wipe it off in order to make a slightly more even surface. I'm actually going to take some vine and just get a little bit darker. Space is actually kind of this atomized experience, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like a flat. The air is what you're trying to paint. The whole process, I'm going to use the toilet paper, high-tech tool, to knock back edges and kind of keep me conscious of the fact that I'm making a space. So you might think, well, why did you just rub that out? It's a kind of a matter of construction and then destruction all the way through the process. So I go back and forth, back and forth between defining something and then absolutely kind of taking it apart and defining it again. I think of these as almost like architectural drawings with light, like the, the architecture of light. The word finish is, is tricky. If I try to close it down and finish it, it could feel like it's in a coffin. I think you always want the work to feel like it's evolving, like an ancient tapestry. They leave a thread that could be open. I don't want the experience of painting to be something that I already know. The more I do these, the more I feel like I'm just beginning to get what I want. 